You want to get Minecraft mods in 1.21.7. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to do that and get any of these Minecraft mods that you want, as long as they are updated to the version you want. So first things first, we're going to probably want to download some Minecraft mods. And for this video, we're going to be specifically using Fabric and obviously the 1.21.7 version. So you can find links to both Curse Wars and Moderinth down below, but you can also Google for Minecraft mod download, and it will show you Curse Forge and Moderinth right here as the first two options. Now on these sites, you wanna make sure that you're filtering for fabric, your mod loader, and then the game version of 1.21.7. So we can see all of the mods that we could install here. One of the mods I'd always recommend installing is actually the Fabric API. So we'll go ahead and get that one by going to the Fabric API here, going to Files, and then finding that 1.21.7 Fabric version, clicking the three dots and clicking Download. Now we'll take a second for this to download, and while it's downloading, help us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH, to start your very own modded Minecraft server with Fabric or any mod loader that you want. One, and you can even one click install Minecraft mod packs, making it super easy to play modded Minecraft with your friends, which, in my opinion, is the best way to play modded Minecraft. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now we can go ahead, save this, and the download will begin. We'll also want to grab a mod from Modrinth where you can also filter 1.21.7 Fabric. Let's go ahead and download Sodium. Sodium is a super well known performance performance mod for Minecraft, so we can go ahead and click on it here, then go to versions, and then we can find the Fabric 1.21.7 version by filtering here, and there it is. Go ahead and click the download, and the download will begin. May need to keep or save it. 100% safe to do that, as long as you're downloading from CurseForge or Modrinth. Now, we've downloaded these Minecraft mods. We also need the Fabric Mod Loader. This, of course, is linked down below, but we can also search for Fabric Minecraft Download, and then we'll take you to the Fabric homepage here where we can click on the download button and then click on download for windows here. The download will then begin. May need to keep or save it, but it's 100% safe to do that. And now we can go ahead and finally minimize our browser. I'm going to move everything we downloaded to our desktop just so we can kind of manage all the files. We have the fabric installer here and then we have both sodium and we're still waiting on the fabric API. There we go. That is now finished and we can move those to the desktop as well. Now we're going to want to start off by opening up the fabric installer. Just double click on it and it will open. You may you may get warned that this is a new program on your computer, you're still good to go ahead and open this anyway. And then just select the Minecraft version you want, 1.21.7, make sure Create Profile is checked, and click Install. The reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open, both need to be closed, and you need to have played Minecraft 1.21.7 before, just open it to the main menu and close out of it. We can go ahead and click OK, and close out of the Fabric Installer, and delete it. Now how do we actually add our Minecraft mods? Well, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. In the Minecraft Launcher, we will go to installations up here at the top, and then we want to make sure modded is checked, and we'll have this Fabric Loader 1.21.7 installation. Hover over it, click the folder icon, and you guessed it, your Minecraft folder here is going to open up. Then we have this Mods folder. If you don't have a Mods folder, just go ahead and make a Mods folder. No need to worry or stress about not having one. Open your mods folder and move the Minecraft mods you want to install, in our case Sodium and Fabric, but this can be any Fabric Minecraft mods you want to add into this mods folder. Then go ahead and play Minecraft using your Fabric loader because you'll need to play it using Fabric in order for your Fabric mods to work. From here, they are installed. Everything is good to go. We can confirm this by going to Options and Video Settings and we will immediately see a completely different layout for the Video Settings menu basically indicating that Sodium is up and running. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but enjoy your Minecraft mods, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.